So we're here in West London today to launch the Williams Martini Racing Team, which involves a brand new driver, Felipe Massa, who's left Ferrari to join the team. But most importantly of all, the relationship with Martini, which means on the beautiful Williams Mercedes FW36, we have the iconic uh, Martini Stripes returning to Formula One. And I think you only have to see the amount of people in the room for today to realise that this is a really big story for Williams, it's a big story for Martini, but it's also a really big story for F1 racing as well. It was really interesting for me when there were rumours starting to be heard about the fact that Martini might be getting back into Formula One with Williams. Suddenly on, on the internet there was all of these mocked up images of what the Williams car would look like with the Martini branding on. And it's because Williams are a proper racing team. They only exist to race. They've got an amazing heritage. They're really loved here in Britain. And Martini, you know, right from their rallying days or when they first went onto the Formula One grid in the 60s, they are one of the classic Formula One partners and I think that this is just really evocative and special to see Williams and Martini coming together. I don't think there's going to be a story like it this season or a car as beautiful as that on the grid. Well I think look the car has got go faster stripes on it now um, and it is going faster, a lot faster than last season. Um, it's a really tight battle at the top with all of the Mercedes powered cars. The Mercedes team, McLaren and Williams are basically fighting over the win, I think, in the first few races. And it's all about reliability this year in Formula One. So as long as um, Felipe and Valtteri can keep the car pointing in a straight line, and I think they could win, you know, certainly one of the early rounds, absolutely.